Rob from robcoven.com here. Now I've been developing a client site for the last month on a dev subdomain. Now here's the client site, we're not very happy with it. There's a blog which has the whole of the posts on the archive page and some rather old looking static pages. So for the last month I'd created a dev subdomain here where we in private you can only access this site if you have a password of course we've created a new WordPress theme in Genesis HTML5 with schema.org markup we've got a new Java slider as you can see and a new home page they've worked on a lot of the static pages and the blog is updated to and has featured images and every one of their authors will have a author bio and the correct Google authorship markup. So there's a lot that's gone on in the last month. What I've got to do now is make the dev site the live site. And all I'm going to do to do that is in public HTML, I'm going to update the WP content folder from the dev site. And then I'm going to update the WP config file. All I'm going to do is change one word and that's the name of the database and that will make the live site resemble what is now the dev site. Of course I have backed up everything, all the files and all the databases. Okay so I've done that, all the files are updated so all I have to do is go into config PHP and change the name of the database. There it is, save that, update and let's have a look at the site. So we go back to the proper domain and refresh. And here it is, the slider is working, the home page looks good, all the other pages are working, the blog is okay, quite happy with that. Actually there's been a few comments and a few new blog posts in the last month so I need to put those in again, of course I've copied them. But all I did was work on an exact copy of the site for a month, completely change the design and the functionality of the site and then in order to make that site a live site all I did was copy over the files in the WP content folder and change the WP config PHP file to update it to the new database okay I hope you enjoyed that this is Rob from robcubbon.com goodbye